Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be playing Alice Jack. It is a game based off of the creepypasta Alice Jack. Uh, there's something that I don't know much about, um, but hopefully you guys do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hello, my name is Mitch. I'm here to tell you about an experience I had a few months ago. I have no idea if it was paranormal or whatever stupid words people used to describe supernatural phenomena. But after this experience, I started to believe in it. Well, those are my last things. I'm glad you didn't leave me in this, Edwin. Your family, Mitch. Of course I'd be here for you, man. Let's just move those boxes inside already. It's getting cold. Alright, so for the premise of it, we are um, moving in with our brother into his house that we haven't seen in 10 years. So a long time that I've not seen... Uh, the guy we're moving in that into with. Okay, so it looks like either somebody's already in here or we done put stuff together. I'm trying to sprint, but I can't. It looks like he lives out in the middle of nowhere, man. Is there any just straight trees, just a house in the woods? I mean, he gave up at least, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't have to sit there and just watch me. But yeah, he, uh... Oh, okay. You grabbed the last one. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Edwin. Edwin and Mitch. Definitely names. Dude, he just keeps spawning in everywhere. Stop with him. Spoken, huh? You want one? Oh, thanks. I don't smoke. Why don't you get some rest? You had quite a long ride to get here. That's not a bad idea. I'm pretty tired. All right. Good night then. Night. We're going to sleep this early. I mean, you still it's the daylight outside. We're going to bed. It's like what six o'clock. This is what it is. Let's check out the room a little bit. Do not disturb. I'm saving the world. Okay. There's no way like a grown person was staying in this house. 1.12 a.m. Oh, I can move. There's obviously somebody else on my window. Can I get up? What happened? Oh, we keep the window open at all times? He doesn't have to worry about bugs or anything. Is he here again? He is. Same spot. Good morning. Hey, man. Did you sleep well? Yeah, not bad at all. I only heard some strange rustling outside, but I guess it was just a raccoon or something. Yeah, I agree. That's most likely it. <laughs> Would you mind raking the leaves outside the house? I will make breakfast in the meantime. Sure thing. The rake is somewhere around the entrance. Well, I guess we gotta earn our keep around here. But waking up straight out of bed, not brushing your teeth or nothing, and just going straight to raking is crazy. And these guys have, this has to be in a, a different country or something, because there's no way you ain't got no AC, nothing. Just straight windows. Or maybe it's back in the day, I don't know. Just an odd setup altogether with how the house is. What happened? Oh, the footprints outside the bedroom window? I thought we already knew that part. What did he cover his tracks up with the leaves? Where are we putting all these leaves at anyways? Because there's a wheelbarrow right there. Alright, let's finish up on the last piles. That should be it. Can we set this back up somewhere? Or we walk in with the right? Okay, he put it up himself. Cool. Just in time. I cooked some eggs. Alright, well, let's eat up then. 12.56 a.m. So. Am I up? Okay, I'm moving this time. And my window is wide open.
We're not gonna, okay. Not even gonna just try and check that out. Window wide open, we're not gonna worry about it. And our brother just seems cool. What's going on? What the hell happened to you? Take a look in the mirror. What are you talking about? Take a look in the mirror. What's wrong with us? He ain't feel the cut on his face. An hour later. Hmm. It seems like you've been sleepwalking, Mitch. I have no other explanation for that. That's strange. Indeed. But there is something more disturbing than this cash. You somehow lost your kidney last night. What the freak? <laughs> what? Unfortunately, we don't know how that happened. I'm sorry, Mitch. Time out, bro. This dude didn't know that he was missing kidneys. He... You go, could you please sign this paper? Sure, why not? Take care, Mitch. Thank you. Okay, he literally got his organ, he got his kidney taken out in the middle of the night, and Buddy didn't realize he had like he didn't feel no pain, nothing. My brother, uh, uh, talk about this. He thinks I'm sleepwalking. That's bullshit. How could this be the case? I don't know. It's all fucked up. Anyway, take this key. It belongs to your room. Sure. What? And bitch. If there's anything bothering you, you can always tell me about it. I know. Thanks, Edwin. You know, ain't nothing to start acting funky till you moved into this house, bro, with your brother. I'm not saying it's him, but at the same time, why do we have a key for our bedroom? I'm confused. Did you put a new lock on it or something? Ah, oh, here we go again. I need my camera fast. Get the camera on your desk. Cam Get the camera. Grab the camera. I don't know what the camera's gonna do. Is he chasing us right now? What's happening? Oh, we're running. We're moving right now. Is Alice Jack after us right now? I don't know if I'm running the right way or not. I'll just, everything looks the same. Bro, he's after me, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh. I have some good and bad news. The good news is that you only had minor injuries. And your parents are going to pick you up. However, the bad news is that your brother, Edwin, was found dead. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. I'll just take my camera and head back. All right. Are we not? We can't go see old buddy or nothing. Ooh, what the freak? Dude. What's that thing on the floor? Well, obviously it's my brother. What's what thing on the floor? That? I just picked it up and just said bump it. Are you okay, son? Yeah, I'm okay, Dad. Alice Jack, maybe that was the 
you know, go back with the um, the creepy pasta. Like I said, I don't know too much about it. I've never heard of it. I know the the regular ones like Slender Man or something, but I've never heard of this one before. But it was a uh, pretty neat little game, man. Short, sweet, um, kind of creepy. It had a little jump scare right there at the end of it. But all in all, it was pretty good. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, man. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.